crispy. What's up, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of Figures in Action. And yo, to kind of show this dial is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. This is by far the longest dial I have ever created. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's start this. It's going to be interesting because it's going to be, I have to at some point stop the video, turn on all the lights and, and kind of go through all that. So let's, let's start here. Let's start here so you guys can get an idea of, uh, of what this is like or, or what it's looking like. So I was contacted some time back. Somebody had wanted a WWF stage entrance. Now, most of you know WWF is no longer the name of this wrestling federation. It is now WWE. Uh, don't know if you guys know the background story, but WWF actually stands for World uh, Worldwide. F no, so WWF for wrestling was World Wide Feder Worldwide Federation. WWF for there was another organization that had a panda. Is World Wildlife something? And so for years and years they were like beefing, and finally uh, Vince McMahon was like, you know what, fuck it, y'all can have the name. I'm ill. I'll just do WWE. Uh, and so it's been a long time since it's been known as WWF. But that's his era, and so the client wanted it uh, for me to put the WWF logo, which was easy enough. All right, so this ramp lights up. This lights up. These three lights light up. Those lights in the back light up. I also created a couple of like uh, uh, of these little lights, that, two of them, and then you can just put them wherever you want to put them to light up either the stage or the wrestlers or what have you. So uh let's go over this real quick i started this project months ago so i'm gonna forget some of where i got the stuff maybe not let's see so it, it, everything comes apart for three different spots so first of all let me go backwards it is 29 inches long it is 16 inches tall just from where the ninja's standing to the top of the wwf sign five inches tall uh there and then i didn't never check to see how long it is and then for length we're looking at about uh, 20 inches so it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. But luckily, it separates in three different parts. So this comes off. This is separate. The uh, Jumbotron spikes off of that back piece as well. So it's three different styrofoam pieces. So the first guy is this. So he wanted a ramp. It wasn't going to be the... In my mind, I was like, man, how do I create a ramp? So I found some like... I don't want to call it plexiglass. But it, it is... I found it at Hobby Lobby. I do remember that. And it is for model trains and shit. So... Uh, and then I got some some of this paper, um, translucent paper there as well at Hobby Lobby. And again, I think it was the train model section. And what I did is um, on the other side of this, I just pretty much put some adhesive glue in and I put these in a, in a kind of a, a weird order or an order that in my mind looked kind of cool. Uh, and then painted everything white. And what happens is that when you light the, the, the under the, the stage lights, I guess, when you light them up, it uh, the light comes out which is great but what's funny is i always say this i don't know if you guys remember i always say that somehow things just end up falling into place for me even when i don't i'm like domino from marvel even when i get lucky i don't even mean to so i remember when i when i did this and i first turned the lights on the, there's a row of lights right underneath here right so this 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 row right there and they're bright and so if it was any other color but red that i chose for the top it would have looked bad the red just blocks it enough that it bounces it to the rest of the stage so that was kind of cool this is sewing mesh and then there's a, a kind of a cross beam i don't know if this is what you call it but there's wood to strengthen that out um some of that paper that's here also exists under there these guys here let me see i don't think i glued them did i glue them oh i think i did glue them maybe not yes i did all right so these little pieces here and let me just take this out because i have to light it anyway so i'm just gonna start kind of taking these pieces out so i can show you guys a better view of uh the guts and stuff so this guy here these guys here are basically hmm, oh perfect i got it so i took let me back up so i took one i had some of these bottles it wasn't this but this is what i used so basically the top I cut it in half, spray painted it, and it became that. And then I lined it inside with aluminum paper or aluminum tape. And then the light, you can see the light is sticking from underneath. So when the light illuminates, it uh, it shines even better. And I'll turn on the light now that I have access to it so you get an idea. 
So that's what happens with these lights. Because uh, the aluminum is there, it, it reflects them a little bit better. So you get to kind of see that. And all it is is literally just one of these tops cut in half, spray painted, lined with aluminum tape, and just kind of stabbed into here. And then you can see the lights uh, kind of stabbed into the top. Uh, you know, just kind of guided them and make sure that they're sticking out a little bit. But uh, it, it came out pretty good. It came out pretty good. Let me just turn off. Wait one second so I can turn off these lights so you guys can get. Yeah, but it, 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 it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright for just, you know, those three little lights. Those, excuse me, those three little lights. All right, so that was that. And then uh, we can turn this light off and get this off the table and reach for that last piece. Okay, and I apologize that the camera's shaky and all over the place, but it's not easy. This is a big, this is a big boy. All right, so this last piece. Uh, so first and foremost, this uh, comes off. So let's get, take that off. You see, he has this. All right, so let's look at this piece real quick. So these are the pieces from uh, the McFarlane NASCAR series. Uh, a lot of them came with two of these pieces, a base and this cloth type thing that you put in between these the two pieces and then it has like their logo and shit. So I bought a bunch of those because I felt like this is perfect for, for, for this. And then what I did to put it together, this was, this was not, it's funny because I finished most of this stage. This was the last part. It took me, you know, sometimes it took me a while to try to figure out how I'm going to keep it together so that when it moves, like you can't really glue plastic to plastic and then move it around and expect it to stay, you know, to stay intact. So I knew I had to put some doll rods in here, but what I did is I, I, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if we can see it. I zip tied it. You can see a little bit there. I zip tied it. So I zip tied the, I put the doll rod in there, fit pretty good. Then I zip tied it to the plastic. Did the same thing on that side. And then here I did the same thing with, you can see a stick kind of just going, a doll rod just kind of going across here. And then I zip tied it here. And then what I did is I added a couple of zip ties here so it doesn't pull too much in any direction. Did the same thing for the top. And uh, these are dollar store lights and just was able to clip these on. This is a similar system that I use in that bar, that Sopranos bar, uh, in terms of um, the lights and, and whatnot. So this is what it looks like and it's, it's pretty sturdy. Um, so I, I was definitely happy with that, how, how, excuse me, how that came out. And then this is just a real simple base, just a base. I left this little area here so the lip of the stage can fall onto it. Uh, it just has the, where the uh, Jumbotron goes. And uh, yeah, so that was the last piece and it was ready for a YouTube video and picture. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it all together with all the lights on so you guys have an idea. So I'll be back. All right, and here it is, all lit up. So as I was telling you, uh, telling you guys, the light from the, oh, you know what? I forgot one light and I'm going to put it on real quick while I'm recording. So it's this last light that you got to put here to kind of light up. There we go. There we go. So this is it all lit up. So like I was telling you earlier, um, that light luckily hits the red and it doesn't, if it was blue or yellow, it would have just been too bright for pictures or videos. Those six lights just came out so good, man. I'm so happy the way those came out, man. Just how bright they are. Uh, I love the fact that I added these these additional spotlights because you can just put them anywhere that you want and this piece can move anywhere. So I'm, I'm real happy with that and I hope that he likes that piece. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm happy, man. This came out good. <laughs> this came out good. This came out really good. Uh, I wish I had wrestling figures. I think I have, um, where's the, where did I put that ultimate? Well, I have an ultimate warrior figure, but he's in a, he's in a suit. So it's not the same, but yeah, so this is what it looks like lit up. So it's uh, basically some string lights that are underneath the stage though. That one set of string lights uses two AA batteries. I was able to put it in a way where it basically just reflects pretty much not only the stage, but the ramp, uh, really well. And then those other lights are just battery operated finger lights that you can just get at dollar store um i am gonna send them several new ones so he has that whenever he runs out of juice yeah man and this is it this is uh this is the dial very happy with how it came out and i'm excited to send it uh to the new owner who lives in new jersey um a state that i frequent quite often hi y'all 
And I am out of here. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them. And I'll hit you back. I right, peace.